What is gravitational slingshot effect? The slingshot effect is the use of the relative movement and gravity of a planet or other celestial body to alter the path and speed of a spacecraft. The slingshot effect is used to accelerate a spacecraft in a planetary flyby. NASA calls this a gravity assist and exploits it to save fuel in missions to outer planets such as Jupiter and Saturn. How the slingshot effect works. This short video simulates the slingshot effect. The small ball or rocket changes its moving direction and speed due to the gravitational force from the big ball or plants or other celestial bodies. Since the big ball is moving downward, the small ball gains speed. The function below shows the speed change of the small ball over time. The major physical concepts used in the slingshot effect. First is the conservation of momentum. The sum of the rocket's momentum and the planet's momentum before the use of the slingshot effect should be equal to the sum of the rocket's momentum and the planet's momentum. Thus, when the rocket gains speed, the planet slows down. However, since the mass of the rocket is much smaller than the mass of the planet, the rocket gains a lot of speed, but the decrease in speed of the planet is negligible. The second is the conservation of energy. Since m1v1 plus m2v2 equals m3v3 plus m4v4, we only need to time one half v on both sides to prove that the total kinetic energy remains the same. The next slide consists of a Java program that simulates the slingshot effect. Here we see that the speed of the planet in the center is zero, and the speed of the object moving around it is six. The object moves around the planet until it reaches the bottom where its speed would be the greatest. Here we see that the speed of the planet at the bottom is slightly higher than what it was originally. Now we do the same experiment again, but with the planet at the center moving at speed of 1, and with the speed of the object moving around the planet as 6 as it was in the first experiment. The object moving around the planet gains the speed due to gravity as well as the speed of the planet. At its lowest point we can see that the speed of this object is greater than the speed of the object in the first experiment. Finally, we have another experiment that demonstrates the major concepts that are used in the slingshot effect. The top video simply shows what happens to a tennis ball when it is dropped from a given height. It bounces back up, but not to the original height due to friction. In the bottom video, the same tennis ball is dropped from the same height, but is on the top of the lid of a plastic jar. The ball bounces much higher because of the conservation of momentum. The total momentum of the ball and the jar stays the same before and after they hit the ground. However, the momentum of the jar is transferred to the ball when they hit the ground. As we see, the jar bounces only a little and the ball bounces much higher than before.